It's official and Merry Christmas and stay away from Honga Tonga Volcano, warns Tonga Geologic Services. Volcanic hazard map for the Honga Volcano 2021 will be shared below. And welcome to the podcast. It's boom time. Honga Tonga Haipei Volcano Tonga. Strong Frio magmatic activity continues. Huge eruption plume. Christmas Eve up to 12 kilometers. Let's look at this uh, in greater detail. I mean, that's spectacular. Let's take a look at this. This is from satellite imagery. It almost looks purple because it is, as well as blue. Who knew? And we're looking at a uh, huge activity here, including intense Frio magmatic activity now in progress at the volcano. Another powerful explosion yesterday produced a steam and gas and magma driven uh, eruption plume that rose 12 kilometers. The eruption involved magma water, so-called freomagmatic explosion. Interaction creating a ground-hugging current known as a base surge. Like a boom, there's the base surge. Now, if you're boating in this region, holy macaroni, that would be a bad day. So please keep away. And, and that has to do with the Merry Christmas hazard for the Hunga Tonga Volcano map here. Stay outside of the yellow zone where these guys were filming that before the boom occurred. So heads up at Hunga Tonga because the Hunga Tonga Smokabonga Haipei Volcano Volcanic Ash Advisory Eruption today, Christmas Day, at noon, an ongoing cyclic eruption to 10,000 feet. That's 3,000 meters Explosive activity continues at Honka Tonga Smokabunga Volcanic Ash Advisory Center Bach in Wellington warned about a volcanic ash plume that rose to 10,000 feet and is moving at 10 knots, but is a cyclic eruption. Now we've seen this move as high as 40,000 feet in the recent days, so we're keeping a close eye on that. Now let's talk about the strong earthquake activity at Fagladusval. And this is the Krushevik Trolling uh, Volcano in Iceland. There is now a constant earthquake swarm activity in Fagradusfall Mountain, part of the Krushevik volcano system. More than a dozen earthquakes have been larger than magnitude 4, and it doesn't look like this earthquake activity is doing anything to stop soon. The largest quakes in the last few hours were magnitude 4.8, 4.5, and so on and so forth, as the secondary surge is occurring now. Or is it? Let's come to it. There is the subsurficial. So these quakes were ramping up. They moved forward for four days and they quieted off during Christmas. Look at that. Holy crap. And just the last, let's say, 10 hours, there was nothing going on. But then, boom, a vertical ascent of assault on seismicity. And this could be the onset of the onslaught of the, well, the eventual Eruption, re-eruption of the Fagradusfall. Earthquakes today, latest quakes near Fagradusfall. Volcano, in the past 48 hours, Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho. During the past two days, Fagradusfall. Volcano was shaken by nine quakes of magnitude four or above. 27 quakes between three and four. Bringing a total of 36 quakes above three magnitude. Holy macaroni. And 132 quakes between 2 and 3 magnitude. And you know what that means? Well, that means a shit ton of quakes at depth. Here we are at the live Seismos. And we're looking at the 3D imagery. And we'll just refresh it live as we make the podcast. And you can see there was a small pulse that just, boom, lit up right at midnight. Look at that. How does the volcano even know there's a midnight? Apparently it does. Because it went boom! And a huge cacophony, which means a large sound, and I'm sure there was noise, of quakes occurred since then. But live at the volcano, let's take a look and listen up. Whew. Now the video above is not from this eruption because <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. And Iceland, or a far TV, is simply getting fused by showing 
archived footage because people come here and they're like, oh my God, it's erupting. And you're like, oh no, I, I just haven't seen it here. It says archived footage. So the real footage is boom, boom. There's nothing going on, but we do have an uptick in seismic activity and we're, we'll keep the wind blowing for you. Who knew? But certainly give a far TV, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. Do what we say because we want you to comply. Now Spain's La Palma volcano eruption declared over after three months. Holy macaroni. We reported on this 10 days ago and said that they would do this in 10 days. And in fact, they did it. Now, once the volcano goes quiet for more than 10 days, it's officially declared an end of an eruption in Spain and Europe. So that's what they're going with. And now Spain's La Palma volcano has declared over after three months, just a few days longer than the longest eruptive period in recorded history over the last 600 years. Just a few days, as we predicted. We were off by about, well, when I look back at the forecast, we were off by 14 days. We suspected it would end at 64. It ended just over 80. And um, a lot of people are looking at the micro seismograph here as if it's going to do something. Well, in fact, it is a dead volcano, according to the locals. And that's a boom to science. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks to all of our one-time donors and our Patreons and the heroes that share this video. We actually get watched by people that gain knowledge. And that's boom. And that's why we're here. Share this video and become a hero. Become a Patreon and be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel. Become a Patreon. And Merry and Christmas. Nanu, Nanu. Happy New Year. Did I say that?